Hi, I'm Joy, and tonight, yes, tonight, I am driving from LA to Kettleman City Supercharger, and I'm actually going to sleep at the supercharger in my car overnight. Why? Because tomorrow there is a huge Tesla meetup event hosted by the Tesla Owners Club Silicon Valley. I think they have like about 140 cars registered so far. And there's a group of us from LA that are going to go up as well to show our support. I am not a morning person. So I decided to drive up tonight, sleep in the car, and then move on to Fireball, which is the event place that has the world's largest V3 supercharger right now. So I want to document my overnight camping road trip in my Tesla and what it's like sleeping at a supercharger. First of all, I have my bed all set up and I'll show you very quickly. This is the same setup as I did when I went to a church retreat in October of 2020, where I slept two nights in my car. Exact same setup. I also brought my privacy screen like last time, which I will set up once I reach Kettleman City. However, because I am a woman, I have some prepping to do. And so I thought it would be interesting for me to share from a woman's perspective when we go on these overnight camping road trips, sleeping in the car. So before I left the house, by the way, I'm supercharging right now. Before I left the house, I took a shower, washed my face, took off my makeup, brushed my teeth, did my nightly routine as I would right before I am going to bed. So once I get to Kettleman City, I will just jump in the back seat and go to sleep. I also brought a travel makeup mirror. Yes, I got to look good for the event tomorrow, which I will show you. So I plan on actually doing my makeup tomorrow morning in the car. And I will show you how that's being done. But uh, for now, come on with me on this trip and uh, I'll show you how you can also camp out at a supercharger in your Tesla if you have to go on a road trip. Let me finish charging here. I will get on the road. It is almost 8.30 p.m. And uh, once I get to Kettleman City and I set everything up, I will share with you my setup for the night. I just arrived at Kettleman City. It is 11, 11 p.m. I drove two hours and 17 minutes and my battery was down to 11% when I arrived. So I cannot sleep in a car with 11% of battery because camp mode won't come on. So I am actually V3 supercharging right now. I think I'm going to charge up to maybe... 60 or 70 percent so then um in the morning when i wake up i would still have enough charge to actually drive to fireball without having to charge again here in the morning and then drive back from fireball because fireball superchargers are going to be completely taken over by the group so i might as well um, just drive out there park and not take up a supercharger space for others that are coming down from Silicon Valley. So that's a game plan. I am going to um, charge up maybe, hopefully, for 20 minutes only. And then I'm really tired. I need to sleep. And I will show you my setup in a little bit. But I am not going to actually park in the stall and sleep. There is a row like right over there with a few parking spots that don't have superchargers so i'm actually gonna move my car to one of those spots over there and set up camp i've got my privacy screen set up all around the car it'll do and i parked underneath the space 
and there is like a little bit of um, street lamp light coming from there so what I actually did also was I brought my eye mask that I normally would take with me on a flight on a long-haul flight so I could sleep so I thought I'd bring this in case there are um, lights coming from above that I can't cover and it'll make me hard to fall asleep but the cool thing with this setup this time is that now I have the falcon table Ooh, it looks so awesome check this out Ta-da! So I have my water, I have my little toiletry bag, and I can just charge my phone overnight. So this Falcon table makes car camping super duper easy. It's fantastic. I do have camp mode on. It's being blocked right now, and the fireplace graphics hasn't shown up yet, but Somebody suggested to me online to turn off actually the AC so that um, the air compressor wouldn't come on so often overnight and so that I wouldn't feel the vibration of um, the battery and it would disturb my sleep so i thought that is a brilliant idea so i'm going to try it out tonight and see how that goes all right it's almost midnight nighty night i gotta go see you tomorrow good morning it is a little after seven o'clock in the morning i just woke up i wish i could sleep some more because i didn't actually fall asleep until almost maybe one o'clock in the morning because I was so excited <laughs> to camp in my car last night. Well, it's worked out really well. Kettleman City Supercharger is a nice and safe place for me to spend a night here. There was a Model Y that parked next to me last night when I pulled in and I saw the person was taking a nap, but I just peeked outside and that Model Y is gone and it looks like I'm the only car now that is still parked here camping. So I'm gonna go change in the restroom and I'm gonna come back and do my makeup. <laughs> um, just FYI, something interesting happened with the camp mode. So. The last time I used it, they had the fire graphics, the camping graphics on the screen. But now, this morning when I woke up, I saw this. It basically turned black and just said camp mode, have to dismiss. So maybe Tesla changed it to preserve some more battery so the screen is not running all night and it just turned black and also turning on fan only and not the air conditioning was a great idea because the air compressor was not on overnight so there was no vibration like I felt the last time I slept in my car that would wake me up in the middle of the night. So all in all, it's a success, my camping trip. The LA crew texted me at around six o'clock. They're on their way up and they should be here within the next 45 minutes. So let me go ahead and get myself ready. I brush my teeth and wash my face and I feel fresh and awake now, finally. I actually changed my clothes in the car so the privacy screen worked out really well. And now I'm gonna do some makeup. Um, another tip for women for camping is, I actually, I don't know if you noticed, but I actually curled my hair yesterday so that today I don't have to worry about it because I have super straight hair and I would need to brush it in the morning but 
since I'm camping and I don't want to deal with my hair, I just curled it. So it's a little messy, but still looks cute. And I'm going to wear a hat. So tip for women with straight hair, <laughs> curl your hair when you go camping. So next day, you don't have to worry about it. Now, let me show you how I am going to do my makeup in the car. I bought this travel mirror that I can use with the falcon table and this is adjustable so it's plugged into the USB port back here and I can turn it on and it's super bright you can use this at night as well or in uh, dim light so I'm gonna leave the product information in the description so if you're interested you can also change the lighting it's pretty cool you can dim it turn it off how about that <laughs> all right let me go ahead and get the face made and the crew should be here shortly okay makeup is done and the crew from la literally just pulled in so perfect timing I feel so much better now. <laughs> so what I ended up doing is uh, instead of putting the mirror on the falcon table, I decided to put it facing the back of the car since I can sit up just a little bit and there's plenty of natural light to do my makeup. So this is the setup. And you can probably see people talking. That's the LA crew coming up. So let me go ahead and head on out and start this fun day at the Tesla owner Silicon Valley event. This concludes the video of my car camping at Kettleman City Supercharger, but stay tuned for footage from the actual event. If you want to check out my other road trip videos, there's a playlist on the screen somewhere here. So check it out and keep watching for the event. I'll see you next time and God bless. The LA crew is here and we are ready to roll out to Firebot. So check it out. Yay! Hey! hey, we're ready to take over Firebot. Yeah! and show our support for the Silicon Valley group. Yeah. Woo! Party time! Party time. Vaughn is here. Hey, Joy, what's up? <laughs> hey. Good to see you, how are you doing? Good, we made it. Yeah, you did, thanks for coming. No, thank you for putting on this event. Awesome, yeah, we're looking forward to it. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a huge event. Uh, looking forward to getting people from Southern California and Northern California all together, so. Yeah, so yeah. how many cars did you guys care about uh, down here? Probably at least 40 to 50. Um, if not 60, something like that. But That's yeah, amazing. I mean, you guys are already yeah. the cars here. The so. SoCal crew, we have I know, probably I see. about like <laughs> seven, six cars, I think. That yeah, well, th thanks for coming. No, I mean, uh, we're, we're glad to support. Yeah, no, I'm glad we could we could do this. We were trying to do it in December, COVID hit, yeah. Um, yeah. and so it's just really cool that you guys could all just right. come and, 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 and do this, man. It's gonna be such a fun event. I'm looking forward to it. Awesome, thank you so, for having us. Yeah, thanks for Let's coming. Let's get the party started. Definitely, let's yeah. do it. So somebody brought a Mach-E to a Tesla meetup. Who's got the nerve? So I stuck my hand in and set off the alarm inside the Maki. That is pretty interesting. The event is about to start and I actually have a special food delivery thanks to Al from the Tesla Owners Club East Bay and his Best Coast Burrito. 
I got a Korean barbecue burrito. Woo! Can't wait. Thank you so much, Al.